People know why we stopped making things in the United States. Corporate America wanted cheap labor. First, they shut down plants in the Northeast and the Midwest and moved to anti-union, anti-worker states. Then when those wages weren't low enough, they went to Mexico. When those wages weren't low enough, they shut down plants and moved to China. Look at places like my hometown of Mansfield, Ohio, an industrial city of 50,000 people but halfway between Cleveland and Columbus. Westinghouse, Tappan Stove, Ohio Brass, General Motors. One plant shut down after another after another. Go to any town in Ohio and people can name a similar list. They now measure their local history in shut down plants and lost jobs and, and, and workers leaving. Ohio and workers in historical industrial, historic industrial towns spelled it first. Now the whole country is feeling it in the form of higher prices, empty store shelves, and months long wait for products people need. We need to make things here in the United States. It's not going to happen on its own, not when the economy of the last four decades was built on cop corporations hopping the globe to find the cheapest labor possible. It's why we need to pass, and we will pass, this Competition in Jobs Act. It's a dramatic investment in American manufacturing. It's an investment in uh, shop place, shop floor innovation, where workers actually innovate and make these companies better on the shop floor. It includes the CHIP Acts to make investments like Intel and Ohio possible and position us to lead the world again in this industry we invented. It expands advanced manufacturing hubs. We're going to create more of these innovation hubs around the country. It's a real coordinated strategy to invest in research and development where we lead the world. China's gotten pretty good at taking our ideas and monetizing them and using them to compete against American business while paying workers little by paying workers less and less and giving them fewer rights. This bill, the Competition and Jobs Act, is a plan to fight back and we will bury the term Rust Belt once and for all. Senator White. Senator White. Th thank